Including many places, phases and phrases Levels of chemicals that embark in races The human body is regulated to kids and strangers With many different hormones just coming to different phases At times the environment is straight outrageous Messing with levels to keep the body gracious So hormones need to act like the body's surveillance To keep everything in check at homeostasis Proteins and steroids are the two different types each with distinct target receptor sites to either knock the body off or bring it back to balance. Which shows the different hormones, unique talents, comprise these hormones from the endocrine system, which involves several different bodily mechanisms. Though the hypothalamus holds most of the wisdom, the pituitary gland controls in unionism. The pituitary had sides of posts and anterior to store or produce and send out hormones to exterior cells. ADH is one of HTs, which holds back water in the kidneys. Oxytocin is also from the hypothalamus. It has two distinct idiosyncrasies. Mammary glands and uterus during pregnancy are targeted to contract, push, and squeeze. Four other big ones come from the pituitary. One, HGH, is quite extraordinary, causing each cell to go big like the military. Muscles, bones, and cartilage are the targeted area. Us, yet there are some disorders with this. Acromegaly and gigantism are not missed. The cause from an overproduction of HGH while pituitary dwarfing is due to a lower rate. Two, prolactin puts on milk and emphasis out of breast. It creates milk called lactogenesis. PRH is sent from HT to tell it to produce. Then the anterior pituitary has no excuse. Three, the thyroid cycle is a big one. But you need iodine or you will get none. TRH and TSH to the thyroid, which sends thyroxine to be deployed. Thyroxine regulates body metabolism, oxidization of sugar in an organism. Too little and you'll get hypothyroidism. Opposite of that, collard graves fatalism. The thyroid has more than one job. It releases calcitonin if CA is a mob. If these levels are too low, parathyroid can throw some PTH to raise the levels back to ratio. Four, adrenal corticotropic hormone, a long name for a stimulus that targets the adrenal cortex to produce the outlets. Cortisol, aldosterone, estrogen, don't forget. Cortisol makes proteins, amino acids, then the liver makes these crucial energy facets. But if too much sugar's in the system, call the adipose truck and make sure that it has its pistons. Estrogen is a sex hormone that's released. It goes men's beards and gives them testes. Aldosterone raises the body's BP. Ran an angiotensin, help it hit the kidneys. It pulls across salt, bringing H2O with it, which in turn adds pressure for the kidneys to get its normal, needed blood cleansing functions to eliminate potential harming malfunctions. These three hormones help with long-term stress, originating from the adrenal cortex. The inner medulla is for fight or flight, stimulated by the hypothalamus nerve sites. Stimulation releases epinephrine, which excites the body like removing a grenade pin. It also converts glycogen to glucose, which beta cells also help aim to redose, I mean reduce. By eliminating fat prodose, I mean produce, making a person less obtose, I mean obtuse. Opposite of this is glucagon use. It's glycogenolysis makes glucose profuse. Insulin helps lower sugar levels in the blood. Storage of glycogen helps prevent a sugar flood. It makes cells permeable to glucose levels. Too much in yours fat as lies it by devils. Pancreatic alpha cells secrete glucagon, which I said does the exact opposite of insulin. It raises BS by the breakdown of fat. It's catabolic in nature, breaking this and that. There's two different types of diabetes which can form in type 1. Pancreatic beta cells are deformed in type 2. Insulin simply can't perform due to malfunctioning cell receptor norms. Sleep is controlled by a gland called the pineal, which increases melatonin after your last meal, which responds to light in the day or in the night, which makes you sleepy and emotionally feel. Let's not forget about the thymus gland, which releases thymosin to make little white lambs, which lambs are T-cell lymphocytes, protecting your body from invading parasites. So that's the endocrine system, folks. I hope you learned a little bit and you are provoked not just to leave this rap acting gaudy, but that you would desire to learn more about the body.